hello everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope that you are doing well right let me get in the car before my mum bollocks me because i said i was leaving the house at 10 minutes now 12. <laughs> everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope that you are doing well so for today's video i thought i would bring you along with me whilst we go on a little shopping trip aren't we mother yes oh did you get the h&m bag of course um whilst we go on another shopping trip may i add because i think this is the third week in a row we've gone to manchester to go into zara and h&m and buy more coats that we don't need my grandmother will be turning in her grave oh. not in a grave because she's not buried she will be turning in her urn because she always told me off for buying coats so gran i'm so sorry i love my hair today i think it looks lovely so yeah we're going to manchester we're gonna get a spot of lunch aren't we not and then at the end of the day when all said and done I sound like Nessa of Gavin and Stacey um we are going to nip to my cousin's house Chloe Norve if you're watching and make her look like a scarecrow <laughs> I will vlog more when I'm there and it'll probably be a bit of a chaotic vlog it'll probably be all over the place um but that's just me that's just my life chaotic and all oh, over that's my mum's <laughs> to Iceland Oh my god, right, I know this is really off the subject and I'm just rambling now. Joan Gogglebox last night. Jesus Christ. Calm down, Vin Diesel. Fucking hell, I feel like I'm in Fast and Furious. Um, yeah, last night on Gogglebox. <coughs> Go on, <laughs> finished. Last night on Gogglebox, it was that programme with John Richardson, did you see it? Where it was on about, like, your carbon footprint and recycling and that. Oh, where uh, Kerry Cotone was walking about with a load of pocket bags. <laughs> oh, just spat everywhere. She's lived in that house for six months and they got a takeaway every night. Ooh. That is bad. Right, I'll see you when we're there. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Tilsley, everyone. We did Penny Farthing. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? That's windy here, is it? No. I spent a lot of time doing my hair and the wind just ruined it. Um, Mum, could you just, oh wait, I'll wait until we get somewhere that, and oh shit, shall I get run over? I'm gonna get my mother to do a little outfit of the day for me. What's over there? So me Jeeva, Zara, Boohoo, Zara, Converse, and I'll this one. Bag, so. Oh, this wind, man. I spent so wind man, look, look at me fod. I spent so long doing my fringe dead nice and the wind just said fuck off basically. Carry on pal. Oh that's nice. Bit of pink to make the lads wink, what I've been saying is and that. Layering season, but I think we're taking the piss. It's quite nice, that though, minus the shacket underneath it. Some hyaluronic acid, and what was the other thing I was getting? Probably some of the don't ask. I can't remember what it was called. So annoyingly, they only had the hyaluronic acid, so I'll have to order it because the other thing I wanted weren't there. Um, I do want to go in look because they've got all the Christmas stuff but anyone who knows me knows I worked in there and they don't leave you alone and I can't be bothered with it so I might just order it I don't know if you can hear anything I say because it's so fucking noisy but where are we going now H&M? Yeah. and like I said I've got another coat What's this now, like the 10th coat I've got this autumn? Something like that. But you need to wear it like a 10th coat, something like that. Look at all that Christmas stuff. I mean, get that green one. 
think you look great That's in that. Look. It's got a hood on it. You're on film, mother. You've got yourself a lipstick, haven't you? Yeah. You've got. Thanks, see you later. So they didn't have the one my mum wanted, so you've got what's up called the Mother Olivia from Charlotte Tilbury. And now we're off to some food, because I am starving. Have I got lipstick on the chin? Singing a song. of the day was like before so here it is oh i got basil in my teeth <laughs> well that was a very nice meal there were some complainers in there some <laughs> All of them. <laughs> the vlog camera weren't enough today. I brought my whole film crew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got the whole setup today, guys. Big things going on today. Here's the road for you. Yeah. They knew I was coming. They brought my film crew. They closed the road. Big dogs in town. But yeah, it was very nice. So. Yeah, we had to wait, but like it's a Saturday. It was even like, what do you expect? Some people just complain, but it's it was very pleasing. Some people, exactly. But it was very nice. Um, my makeup was pretty much sweated off my face, and I probably look like a dog's backside right now. But yeah, and now I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna call in Lush for a bath bath. Um, get mithered. But I used to be one of them mithering people, so and then. We're going home then, aren't we, mother? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, be nice. Oh, I think someone just smiled in the background. <laughs> yeah. So, I just went into Lush and got myself a bath bomb. I'm going to have a nice, relaxing bath tonight. Every minute in Lush, it just brought back very bad memories because I hated working there. Um, yeah, just like when they were like speaking to me, I was just like, I know you've been forced to ask them questions because I was always forced to mind the people and people don't want to be mithered, but you get told off if you don't. So, anyone who was working in that lush there? Why has someone left lettuce on the table? Huh? I've not seen one rabbit. <laughs> you ever go into Lush and they're mithering you and it's annoying you? I feel you, it's annoying, but don't have a go at the sales assistant because they've got supervisors moaning at them saying, go and approach them, go and approach them. Like, trust me, the majority of sales assistants do not want to talk to you that much. They really don't. Um, but they just get told off if they don't, which I did, which is why I don't work there anymore. Chaos, because I'm not. What? Oh my days. £15 for the car park, a daylight robbery, if you ask me. I love how you gas more at the car park price and like the price you've paid on multiple coats that you don't need. 
please remove your car. Don't fucking worry, I will do if you're charging them prices. It did well back in the Um but yeah, it might have been a little bit chaotic this vlog. Um but it's been very busy today, hasn't it, mother? I'm gonna pretend like I'm on the X Factory. Wait for the doors to open till I'll stay. Shit, it's warm in here. All my days on these vlogs, I just look ugly. Cause they're all from like the most horrendous angles. So basically, they need to turn the brake lights off because it's not doing my face any favors. Oh. <laughs> Put your handbrake on! You can't actually turn brake lights off. You can if you take your foot off you the brake. You don't turn them off. Yeah, well you knew what I meant. Right, I can't vlog with this redness because I look horrendous. Right, so basically there was this couple on the table next to us and it just, I get if you're waiting ages, just politely say something because at the end of the day, the people working in there, they're just doing the job, they don't deserve to be spoken to like a piece of shit, just politely say, we've been waiting quite a while, do you know how long it'll be? He had a face like a slapped ass, didn't it? And he was just rude. What did say? And then his girlfriend, who I, I assume that's who he was, would just look just as rude and pissed off anyway. And then I've got a fucking brake light again. And then, like, we were waiting quite a while, and I just said to the waiter, Do you know how long it'll be? We've been waiting quite a while. Polite, smiling, because they're doing the job, and if you speak to them like shit, it ain't gonna make your food come any quicker. And this guy in the table next to us, having a face like a slapped ass and complaining, weren't enough for him. So he turned around to the table next to him and said, We've been waiting age. He started telling the table next to him. Then that table was complaining, like, shut up. And then when he'd finished, well, his food came and he was pulling his face at that. Yeah, but what about the woman on the next table? My, but um, there's so much that went on in there. I really enjoyed it. She's poking a stick in a beacon. Yeah, and when oh, it's, it's only a small portion, yeah, that, isn't food it? comes out. His food's come after all that morning. Instead of carrying on moaning and just eat the food that he's been so annoyed about, he carries on moaning from the table next to him. Oh, I love a G wagon. And then the table next to him, she goes, Oh, it's quite a small portion, isn't it? Like, shut up and eat it. And then when he finished eating it, bear in mind, these are two separate tables. This woman doesn't know this man. She leans over and says, I want your lasagna. <laughs> like, have these people not got anything better to do? And then he was just moaning and moaning. And don't get me wrong, fair enough, like, if you're paying like a, a certain price for food, like, it's not cheap, and you're waiting age. Oh no, he asked for the manager then. Oh yeah, he asked for the manager, of course. Classic Karen move, asked for the manager. And I get, if you're waiting ages and ages for food, it, 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 you can't words out then, and you're hungry, it does get a little bit annoying, but there's no reason to be so rude to people. Just politely ask, where's my food? I've been waiting a while. Like, you being rude to the waitress ain't gonna change anything. It's just gonna make you look like a prick. Don't be rude. Like, they're doing the job at the end of the day. Can you tell? that we people watch us. <laughs> I'm just nosy. Um, but we were waiting a while, weren't we? Over an hour. And you've been before and said you've never waited that long. But the thing is, it is a Saturday. Of course you're gonna be waiting a while. It's busy. It was even. It was even. It's a Saturday night. I know City are at home, so I don't know, maybe like the men have gone watching. Well, the... Greece. Greece is on. Greece is on at the theatre. So it's Saturday, it's busy. You know that Manchester is going to be busy on a Saturday. <clears throat> if that is going to annoy you, go on a Monday. Yeah, and stay at home. Like, and fair enough, do you know, if you had waited ages and ages and it's getting ridiculous and then it comes and it's cold and it tastes horrible, I get it, it's annoying, I get it. But we waited a while, the food came and it was lovely. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. It tasted so nice. Yeah, I was enjoying the company. I was enjoying my mother's company, chatting away. Them two weren't speaking. He was sat on his phone, ignoring the poor girl. And they're not the service charges off my mobile. Yeah, they're not the service charge off. And they apologised. That's another thing. They brought. We were fine. Like we didn't complain. I just asked. Oh, do you know how long it'll be? He came over, he passed us the bill. He said, "I'm really sorry for how long it took. We've not the service charge off. That's fine." They apologised. What more can they do? We got the food, it tasted nice. End of. So, 
it's exciting times. It's a late night trip, sorry that late, to a big Asda. Let hey. me say, oh, oh, that is horrendous parking, mother. That is diabolical. You wonky. Yeah. Yeah, that over there, they're, obviously they're offset. Yeah, obviously they are. So just gonna do a late night trip to Asda. Ah! Ah! Did you not hear the beeping? Yeah, just ignored it. Olivia said, yeah, so we're going to call in Asda, get some snacks, and I'm going to have some snacks when, when I watch Strictly, and get Amelia a little Halloween outfit. I was, oh. I know you're probably sick of hearing me say this, but I've just watched a video back, and I look like absolute shite. What be? My makeup's come off. I'm just not looking very attractive right now. I don't look very attractive. Mum, I can't get it. Stand inside. How about the one you've just put it on top of? Yeah. And we're home! Why aren't the lights on, Mum? Um, they'll come on soon. I need to keep changing it, you know. What did that hit? We're a bit close to the bin. Has <laughs> it hit the bin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My mum just put, she was sat in the car and she put the boot up and it's hit the bin. And I am now home what a lovely day doing a little bit of shopping got some lunch slash tea dinner slash tea um when we we're out obviously just nipped to asda then on the way back nipped to asda then on the way back can't get my words out i'm so disappointed in asda right? we went in there to get amelia my niece um like a halloween outfit i've got chins at this angle and asda had literally nothing there things like three year olds which ain't three um so it'd be too big for us so a bit disappointed in Asda for that but we just basically ended up getting like snacks so I've got some snacks to watch TV with tonight Um I got home looked at my room and it was one of them like do you know when you need to be, you get ready and you're like right I just need to get out the house now don't matter if my room's a mess I'll tidy it when I get back and then when you get back you think oh why did I leave it like that Um so I'm gonna Give my room a tidy and then have a nice lush bath, a nice pamper and watch Strictly with some snacks and always thank you so much for watching make sure to smash a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed go and do that now and as always comment down below in the comments any future video ideas that you'd like to see from me and i'll be back next week for another video bye